Hey, it's Brigzar. It's time for another update on my top 10 most wanted sets for 2018 that I'm working on getting. These are all retro sets. And if you watch the previous videos, we were working on getting the metro stations, set 2150 and 4554. And both that we bought from Bricklink were missing some pieces. And much to our surprise, we received a copy of 4554 from BrickVibe was so awesome to, to surprise me with that. So uh, BrickVibe, if you don't know from the previous video, they have a BrickLink store, one of the largest in the USA. Link in the description below if you want to check it out. In this video, I'm going to compare the one that BrickVibe sent me to the one that I bought on BrickLink and show you what I'm working on. And BrickVibe, when he sent it, he did say that it he didn't know if it was complete. And it was not complete, but it was almost complete and in much better condition. So let's look at it now. All right, I guess this could almost count as a review of this set because this is about as close to complete as you can get when you take the two of them combined. I am going to show you, if I can remember everything, what I need to get. Now, obviously, I did not realize it at the time, but as you can see, there are no minifigures. So the one Brick Vibe sent did not have the minifigures. Fortunately, I have extras of most everything that is in this set uh, in my personal collection. I'll just have to dig them out and um, do you know get that. Or what I may do is take the minifigures from the other one that had all the minifigures and use them with this one. So that is the, the biggest thing that was missing. Now, as far as other things, it was missing most of the stickers. It did have the stickers for the black suitcase. Hold on. There's a hidden top secret suitcase right there that has that logo on it. And that's where they got some of some of the monies are on there. So it did have that. It had the stickers there at the little train shop, like the cafe and the ticket counter, I guess. I don't know. And then it had the sticker on the signs on either end. Now it was missing this train logo that needs to go there, and there should be some mail logo there, and there should be telephone logo and another logo there above the doors i couldn't find a one by six brick with those and that is a printed piece there it had all four of the brown suitcases that come with this set and i think i'm missing one no i'm missing there's supposed to be two white suitcases i only see one i mean three there's supposed to be three white suitcases and i only see one there but it had all the little, these little one by ones, they go inside the suitcases. It had all that. The extras are in the box there. It had the lamps. Oh, it also had the sticker for the um, the uh, schedule sign there. And we turn it around. I'll show you the back. Whoops. Little luggage cart just went flying out. Had all the pieces to build the little coffee maker and the little, I guess that's a, I don't know what that thing is. Not much on the lower level. There's a little phone there. There's a ladder to the control tower. And then... Did I not put that... I did not build that right. Ugh. Okay. And then the little waiting area. Up here is the control tower. It has the um, container here where they keep the secret stash of money. And then one by one round trans red brick you know, or plate. That's very important. I love that they use the old style... Um, computers from classic lego space i mean those were in almost every classic space set but it's neat that here in a set that came out in the 90s they they were still using that for this so that is the back of it so it also had the printed this is a printed piece not a sticker for the mailbox so it did have that i think it had all the mail that comes with this oh there's no mail in there i think it's all the mail and it had the little signal tell the train to stop and go or whatever it had the right yellow fences pieces are in great condition and no dust or anything so that was the one that brick vibe sent me put that back here and the one that i bought on bricklink did have all the minifigures is missing that did have the logos on the uh, luggage cart missing some stickers there and Originally, I thought I was missing that, but that was my bad on that part there. So I'm going to be able to, um, yeah, that's got it. I just got to get the uh, the money. I don't have the money, and I don't have, I don't know if it's got, it doesn't have the sticker on the black suitcase, I think. 
Oh, it doesn't even have the black suitcase. It's missing too. But it does have four. Yeah, it's got all the looks like all the suitcases that come with it. Yeah, it's got four of each actually. So it may have extra. May need to get some more mail. Oh, there's a mail in there. Two there. It needs the. Oh yeah, I need the bricks. The uh, one by two yellow bricks with the mail logo on those. And these are like ugh, some really discolored. In fact, almost this thing almost looked like it was brick linked together. Or maybe the pieces got mixed up with other sets and then they pieced it, tried to piece it back together. But this is just some really bad looking pieces. I mean, if you look at this one, more uniform in color. Yellows actually is a pretty bad color with Lego as far as not being consistent. Uh, even in a, in the same set, but this is, yeah, that's pretty bad. All right, and it did have one <laughs> sticker there. <laughs> yeah, that anyway, didn't have the mail logo on the mailbox. So, to the point, you know, the hardest thing on this one, if, if I was to get all the minifigures. So, like I said, I can probably get those from my collection. I do need a few stickers and one suitcase. Oh, I did also need to get, it was missing a couple of the gray bricks, like three of them, three one by two gray bricks. Again, not a big deal. I have tons of them in my collection. But overall, uh, this one, the plus side is that I got the minifigures. This one, the plus side, well, besides Brick Bob sending it, <laughs> is it is closer, outside of the minifigures, is closer to complete, and it's not going to take very much as far as the building and the accessories to complete it. So what I've done, um, I may actually be, if I can get the minifigures for this one, I'll, I may be able to get two complete sets if I get the stickers. So I'm going on to BrickLink and I'm going to look to see who is selling sticker sheets and see what the prices are. Hopefully they're not like $50 a sticker sheet because I think that would be cheaper uh, than buying the individual bricks and then I get to apply the stickers myself. Now sometimes when sticker sheets are very expensive, I'll look for people selling the uh, st stickered pieces. Um, that's hit or miss because sometimes those stickers are kind of crooked all over the place. So, yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you think. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an overview of what this train station looks like. This is almost like a review. That's kind of weird for me. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't done a lot of reviews lately. Uh, but maybe when I build stuff like this, I can just kind of show it to you. I'm not going to be one of those that gets into all the intricate details. And I don't know. I, I tend to ramble more than I do talk about details. So it ends up being just as long as and somebody else, I guess. I don't know. All right. So as far as the 10 sets I'm looking for for 2018, technically, I don't have a complete one out, out of that list yet. So I'm very close with this one, and uh, one more BrickLink order should get it. And if I find the time, I will look for the minifigures uh, for the one that I got from BrickVibe. But I'm very pleased, and uh, again, that really made my day, him sending that to me. So, And, you know, having two stations now, now I can have, if we make a bigger layout, have multiple stations. I think the yellow station, I thought the I would like the red one more, but I think the yellow station might be my favorite of the two. And these two, I think, are among the best LEGO train stations. There were some in the 80s. I haven't really got a chance to compare those yet. But I think this is the la these that came out in the 9-volt um, train era. I think these are probably among the best. And I don't think LEGO's made a train station as good as these two since. Uh, they may have certain things that are better than these but i just love these these look like a train station that's what i like about them even though they do have this basically the same build in a different color uh, i like them so tell me what you think about that and we will see you in the next video hey don't forget to subscribe that helps me out a lot when you subscribe i don't know what i'm doing right now yeah the only thing that's harder then starting a video is ending it sometimes because I don't want to go. But I will, and I'll see you in the next video.